Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Monday again, February 24th, 2014. Yes, I am depressed. My Olympics are over. So let me not hold you up and let's talk about lips of the day. I love them, by the way. Oh, by the way. And uh, by the way, remember, was it last year or two years ago? I don't even remember. I know y'all will remember. Um, when I bought a whole slew of NYX round nude lipsticks, remember that? There was one I never touched. I touched it today. Ew, that didn't sound right. But you know what I mean. Um, I used it today. And, uh, well, first let me show you what the liner is. I don't even know why I should show you what the liner is because you can't get it anymore unless you do an eBay situation. Um, it is a Club Monaco lip pencil in the color mahogany now it is just any ordinary mahogany you could do a mac mahogany it's the same damn thing same damn thing so that's what i used to line and this is one of them nudes that i really really like and the lipstick that has been used the first time today in two years or a year whenever i got my nyx round lipsticks is uh 568 Sierra. 568 Sierra. And this is Sierra, people. It is gorgeous. I love... Look at this nude. What? Look at this nude. And it was just hiding in the back somewhere. And I just happened to grab a handful of lipsticks to see what would go with what, I was, what I'm wearing. And this one came up, and I'm like, Sierra? I don't recall doing a Lips of the Day for Sierra. So what I did was, I went back to all my old um, videos, and I, you know, I just typed in Lips of the Day, NYX, Round Lipstick, Sierra. Every other NYX lipstick came up except this one. And then I opened it. Was not even touched. So I touched it today. Again, it don't sound right. But you know what I mean. So that is it. That is Sierra. It is absolutely a gorgeous nude. I don't know. Maybe um, Maybelline, the nudes, maybe there's a shade that matches this one. I don't know. All I know is I don't even have to go near Maybelline, the nudes collection because I have enough. And this is what Sierra looks on me. That's the swatch. This is it, but you know I had to top it with something. So it's like a combo. Yeah, it's a combo. It's a combo. Um, Sierra, the nudes, that is it. And I had to gloss it up just a little bit. Just a tad. And I used, as you can see, I've been using this one quite a bit. This is Sally Hansen Lipnotic Gem Gloss. I don't know if you can find these anymore. You could sort of kind of find them every now and then in like the clearance bins. I still see them. This is Sally Hansen Lipnotic Gem Gloss. And if you look at it real close, you see it has little sparkles and little color colory sparkles, right? It is gorgeous. It's a it's a it's a clear, but it doesn't look like a clear. It's got maybe a hint of a tannish color to it. This is gorgeous. And this is in the color bling bling hey bling bling got me some bling bling there we go i'll do a swatch next to the lipstick which you could barely see anyway yeah it's like a nude you can't see nothing it's like a, a nude there we go that's it it does have like a almost like a very light golden tannish color to it with little sparkles of all sorts of colors. Like this would be the lip gloss. That would be the topper of the picture that I showed you of the nude lip. Yeah. Getting closer. But this is my nude lipstick right here. And this is it right here. Oh my God. What? This, I'm in love with my own damn lips. This is gorgeous. If I may say so my own damn self. Okay, so that is that. 
that is lips of the day now um mommy's boopa if you're paying attention today i don't know if you're watching today i just had to ask you how are you doing on your uh no buy until july because i know you have a a, a situation when it comes to what shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that i'm good i am good we are hitting the last week of february people and I'm still good. I'm still good, except, well, there's really no exception. Um, Lynn, yeah, Lynn, she did a review on a L'Oreal Kissimmee eyeliner. You know, I had to go to um, Walgreens today after work uh, to get some personal uh, situations. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Shoot. Anyway, um, so I had to rack up on that and a couple of other stuff. And, uh, yes, I did go by the, uh, cosmetic section. Thank you, Jesus. They didn't have it. It hasn't come out yet or they, I don't know where they sell it. But thank you, Lynn, for putting that little slight poison in my head. But she showed the liner, man. And, you know, I'm still looking for the blackest of the blackest of the blackest of the blackest eyeliner. And she did a swatch, and it looks so creamy and so nice. Now, I have a dozen or so creamy, nice eyeliners, but you can never get enough black eyeliners. So it's a good thing they didn't have it because, yes, I would have broke down, and that would have been the start of an avalanche. So uh, it's a good thing that Walgreens did not have it. Or maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. I was looking. No, I really was. I was looking, and they just didn't have it. So thank you, Lynn. You know, I love you, girl. Anyway, so that's that, people. Um, Let me tell you. Okay. Uh, there is a co-worker. I always have problems. Not, not problems. There's always something going on with one of my co-workers. Well, this is another co-worker. And uh, she covers lunch for me. Not the woman that trained me. She originally used to cover for me for lunch. Now there's somebody else. Um, I told you, uh, hop along, hop along. I feel badly calling her hop along because I'm really the one that's hopping along right now with the cane, but I'll call her hop along so y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, hop along has clout with a big wig that's at the state, that's the station, at the place where I work. So, you know, she knows that this other woman is going to just cover her no matter what because they're like this. And that woman, she uh, she's big up on the scale of managers and all of that. So now that she's she, – now this woman that's big up on the scale, she was taking care of our Hammond – I think it was the Hammond office, Hammond, Louisiana office for like over a year. And this year she came back. Well, now, don't you know they came back to being frenzy Wednesday all over again. So now Hop Along is just, you know, she riding the carpet of, uh, of luxury. She cut the day short on Thursday. She didn't come in on Friday. And guess who didn't come in again today? And, you know, she, know, she knows that she got it good because that woman will always cover her butt. You know what, people? I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing people take advantage of a good situation. Mind you, she's got a good situation. But you're now you're pushing it. Now You left early on Thursday. You didn't come in on Friday. And you decided that you're not going to come in again today. And this woman is just going to say, well, you know, it's her. I, she's a friend of mine. That's okay. That's the way it works at, 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 at work now. You just have to saddle up to a higher up and befriend them. And uh, all of a sudden, you, you in like Flynn? I know I sound like I'm jealous. I'm really not. I have no problem coming to work every day because I've been unemployed. And when I was unemployed, it was the year of 2008. When the finances, we had a crash and it hit the fan. It hit the fan and I got caught up in that situation. So I know what it's like to not have a job. So the job that I have now, 
I cherish with all my heart and soul. Now, I've had a job before this one, two jobs before this one, in fact, and uh, they didn't work out for me. The, the last one, I got caught up in a situation that I did not know I was getting caught up in, and I got fired for through no fault of my own. The one before it, yeah, I, I got fired because of a fault of my own. And I knew I was doing badly, but I hated that job. I hated it. And it was a part-time job, and there was no insurance. And so anyway, so that job I got fired from. And this, the job before this one, I got caught up in some hornet's nest through no fault of my own. I didn't even realize what the hell was going on, and I got fired for that. So now I'm in this job. I cherish it with every fiber of my being. I'm not going to do one of those, oh, I know somebody and she knows somebody and, you know, therefore I can take days off and uh -uh. see people don't know when they have it good and they just go overboard with the, with the advantage, with the taking advantage. Something's going to happen. I just have a gut feeling something is going to happen and she's going to straighten up and fly right or she's going to walk right out the door with all of her belongings and I will never see her again. So, of course, somebody else had to cover for me for lunch today because she wasn't in. Let's see if she bothers to come in tomorrow. We shall see. And the thing is, I like her. I talk to her all the time, but she does have a tendency of going on and on about the situation, about she's having a divorce and her ex-husband, and she tends to tell me the same story over and over again. So, you know, I just sit there and bear it and, mm -hmm, uh-huh, and... I tell you, a receptionist's job is like a bartender, is like a priest through a confessional. I mean, it's just a, a psychologist and a psychiatrist that it comes with the job. So if you're looking for um, Mr. Man, he's walking. Lord, he cleaning himself now. Okay, so he's around. He's here. He was on the bed when I, when I first turned on the, the webcam, but then he jumped off before you could see him. So he's here. He doesn't hate me or anything like that. I know you guys, a lot of you have been asking for him. He is right here. I'm not going to show you because he's doing something rather X-rated with himself. Damn. Okay, so that's that. Let me know what you feel about the situation that I just told you about because you know what? I'm just tired. And I can't do anything about it. I, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. He is playing with my boots now. For real? And then he looked up at me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so, you know, if you have a, a work situation similar to this one where you know that there's a co-worker who's saddling up to somebody big wig and she knows she got it good. So she's going to take some days off or she's going to come in late every single day and nobody's going to say anything about it. Let me know. Because I can't be the only one going through this nonsense. And it is utter nonsense because you see somebody that has it good and she's just going to blow it. She's going to blow it. But hey, you, 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 hey, you friends with the big wig. So, you know, you know, you got a, a secure job. You know, nothing's going to happen until one day something will happen. I'm just saying. So that is it, people. That is lips of the day. Uh, yes, the Olympics are over. I'm rather depressed because, you know, uh, USA, we brought some medals. But we could have done better. What is he doing? Okay. But, hey, that was yesterday, last Sunday. This upcoming Sunday, another, another Sunday where nobody better talk to me, um, it's the Academy Awards, okay? Don't nobody talk to me. Don't nobody call me. Don't nobody text me. Don't nobody do nothing. I am going to watch my Academy Awards. I have not seen not nay one movie that's nominated. Not nay one. I don't know what, what's good, what's not good. I still have time to, to, to go. Like if I go on a Saturday, I could catch one. But you know I ain't going to do that, right? Especially since we're talk they're talking about snow on Wednesday. Snow again. And it was a gorgeous weekend this weekend. Oh my goodness. We were in the 50s. A lot of the snow melted. It's clear again. We can drive. I mean, but the bad thing is now you can see the potholes. 
that snow and the salt, what it does to the roads is a crime. It is a crime. But we're, ha we're heading for some more. Heading for some more, people. I don't know if it's going to be like a nor'easter kind of a thing, but they're talking about snow. It may not be a big deal. It, it may be a big deal. We shall see. Hey, if I can come in late and leave early or come in regular time and leave early, I'm all for it. You know that. So tune in, okay? So let me know what you think. This is, you know, this is the look for the day. Oh, my new blush, one of my uh, Coastal Scents Forever blushes. I'm not done using all of them up yet, so that's why I have to show you. And I know they all look the same on the screen, but this is a different one. This one is called Glamorous. And I don't even know why I bother showing you. Every single one of them looks exactly the same on the, on the webcam. But they are different colors. See? Look exactly like the same one I showed you last week. And this one is called Glamorous. And that is it on my cheeks. So, oh, let me swatch it for you. I know some of you may want that. It's a little shimmery because I can see the shimmers from here, but it doesn't show up on your face. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Even the swatches look the same. They all look exactly the same. The shades all look exactly the same. Trust and believe they are all different. That's it. That's glamorous. Okay. But I'm loving this. I'm loving this lipstick. Lipstick, lip look, whatever. I think I done good. Y'all will let me know otherwise if I didn't or did. So that is that. With that upon that, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, before I go. Um... Remember uh, last week's Mega Million ticket? You see nothing circled, right? Because I didn't get any damn numbers. That did not stop me. Because tonight there's a Mega Millions. And uh, I think tonight, Monday is Mega Millions. And Wednesday is Powerball. This is going to be me from now on if I, can, if I can hold up on the cash. Powerball ticket, quick pick. Mega Millions, quick pick. And a $2 scratch off win for life ticket. They're in my bag right now. You think I'm lying. Um, I told you, I am going to win. I'm going to win something substantial. So I will never have to worry about finances ever again. Me and Pop, we're going to live large. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I'm throwing it out there. It is going to happen. May not be this year. Maybe next year. But it is going to to happen. So you have to be in it to win it. And if that means $6 once a week, every week that I have to put aside for my $2 Powerball, $2 quick, uh, $2 uh, Mega Millions, and $2 Scratch Off Win for Life, then that's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to win, damn it. You think I'm lying. Going to win. Even if I win like $2, I'm going to win. I'm going to win something. And I'm not talking about $2. I'm going to win a big-ass lottery. Y'all see. Y'all will see. Because that week that you don't see me, that you don't see a video, just look on uh, the television, Channel 7, or look on newspaper, because, you know, they have to take your picture with the big sign and the winner is. Y'all will see me on that picture. You watch. Trust and believe, honey. I have faith. I have faith. As long as I put up my end, which is buying the tickets, the other end will come to me. That's how the universe works, people. I know I get all excited. All right. Well, that is that with that upon that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of these gorgeous lips because you know I love them. I absolutely... What? I love this lip look. Okay? Just letting y'all know. Okay, I love you. Love my YouTube family. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.